and here's a disclaimer do not spam whatsapp can detect automation and may block your number if you misuse it okay let's start running the client now let me take some time for first time so as you can see uh, there is the qr code generated to scan so let's scan it in our phone let's open my whatsapp link devices and let me link this So now the client is connected it's showing active now and you can see the message like client is ready and this debug log is there so let's start sending one message let me open Hello. So my workflow will be triggered and I start getting messages from my AI. Bye bye, Tata. Goodbye, Gaya. Let's see how it works. So under the hood, we are using the WhatsApp WebJS library from WebJS.tech. So what it does, it programmatically controls WhatsApp whether you are running as a personal or business account. So it connects to an official WhatsApp web under the hood. So thus reducing the ban risks. Okay. Installation is very simple. It just install as any regular NPM package within your Node.js app and just start using it. So basically this is some sam sample code. Just this 5 to 10 lines of code. You can automate your WhatsApp instead. So let's see our code. So this is my uh, JavaScript code. So I am importing first this WhatsApp web library. Then I'm importing the Axios, which I will use to connect to an Aiden instance for calling the webhooks. Okay, so we are using the local auth strategy. And uh, whenever the client initiates, it asks for QR code to validate. Okay, so it will only ask for uh, one time only, later it will only ask it for first time. So we get some events like client, whenever our client is ready, we get this event. Then we also get this event like message create. So whenever we receive new message, we get this event, message create. And within that, we get the message object. It contains all the metadata regarding the message. So I have added some rules over here so that my bot will not respond to messages sent by me. Then I have added for uh, some whitelist number so that my bot will only respond to those numbers as well as only respond, respond to the groups which I have whitelisted over here. So that my spam rate will be less and my bot will be uh, working fine with my limited set of contacts. Okay, so you can activate your uh, bot within whatsapp group as well so once the message is received and if it is from the whitelist list it will start processing that message with respond to message so in this method what i'm doing is i'm calling the na10 webhook then after uh, calling the na10 webhook i'm getting response from ai and i'm sending that response back to whatsapp so as you can see it's showing message dot reply so it will automatically respond to the person who has sent the message Okay, so it's as simple as this. So let's see our init and workflow. So basically, it gets the webhook request uh, from our WhatsApp client. Then it sends that request to our AI agent. I have, I have connected uh, OpenAI for uh, processing this information. And once that request is processed, it will send response back to the webhook. So it's very simple. So this is my agent. I have added some system prompt. So you can change it to uh, whatever your needs. You can use it as an appointment scheduling bot. You can use it as a customer support help desk bot or for any purpose. And you can use it within group. You can use it for specific contact. So possibilities are endless. So uh, let's have a quick uh, demonstration here how uh, this edit and automation is working. So this is a simple API call. So let's let me enable the test workflow. So now my editing instance is waiting for the trigger event. Okay. So when I send message, so it get processed by AI. We get response from open air and it responds back to webhook like this message and we are also using the buffer memory for storing the recent conversation history so that conversations will be relevant 